minutes to the gentleman from Maryland, the Democratic Whip, Mr. Hoyer. The gentleman is recognized. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I have been here, uh, this is my 37th year. This is the most reckless and irresponsible budget that I have seen in the 37 years that I have been here. Today, we are considering the Senate's budget resolution, not because the House supports it, but because it is just a vehicle to get partisan tax reform. Strike that. Tax cut. On an issue as consequential as tax reform, the Congress should not be rushing to meet self-imposed political deadlines without enough time to read and analyze its effects. More importantly, we should not be considering a bill to cut taxes that is partisan and that is, a, and that is as terrible as we are hearing the majority's proposal will be. I say that because we still haven't seen the full details of a bill that this resolution provides for Republicans to jam through on an expedited process, one they will reportedly introduce, mark up, and bring to the floor in a few legislative days we have left before Thanksgiving. Is the sunshine too bright for you? Even my friends on the other side of the aisle don't know exactly how bad it will be for their constituents. When asked about the details of the Republican bill, Representative Chris Collins, a Republican from New York, said, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. That's a Republican member of Congress who's saying he has no idea what this bill is empowering. But we do know that based on a nonpartisan analysis of their framework, it will raise taxes on 47 million Americans. We know that 80% of the tax cuts, 80% of the tax cuts will go to the top 1%. And we know as well that nearly half of all taxpayers with children, 44.5%, will see their taxes go up. Those same children will not be on the hook. Those same children will be on the hook for a 2.4 trillion cost. This is the biggest debt explosion of any bill that I have seen. Republicans rep Representative Matt Gates of Florida summed up today's vote as being for a budget. Let hear this, my friends, on both sides of the aisle. This is Matt Gates, Republican Florida, summed up today's vote as being for a budget that, quote, nobody believes in so that we have a chance to vote for a tax bill that nobody's read. That's not what we should be doing. We ought to be working together to craft a bipartisan tax reform package that is revenue neutral. It will be the height of hypocrisy to say that you're for fiscal discipline and to vote for this budget. Let's not risk our fiscal future and the economic security of our people. Defeat this resolution. Jim Kentucky Reserves. General Lady from Kentucky is recognized. Thank you. I'm sorry. 